A first time home buyer wired tens of thousands of dollars for her down payment, only to find out she was tricked into sending it to the wrong bank. I literally started to have a panic attack. I was hyperventilating. I couldn't even speak. The scam is called spear phishing. And as our Dylan Collier learned, once you're swindled, it's almost impossible to get your money back. It's tonight's Defenders investigation. I've been wanting a house for a very, very long time. But this fall, Jamie Leeper's dream of buying this garden home on the northwest side was nearly dashed. After getting instructions from her loan officer, Leeper wired her down payment of just under $37,000. A week later, during her final walkthrough, Leeper learned something had gone terribly wrong. I heard over speakerphone, well, no, we didn't get the wire. And I'm like, what? I heard them say Wells Fargo account, and I interjected and I said, no, you told me to send it to Bank of America. And they said, no, it was Wells Fargo. A closer inspection of emails leading up to closing on the home revealed that the email addresses of Leeper's loan officer and realtor were at some point spoofed. Both domain names replaced by two letters, dr.com. Except for that dr.com, everything looked exactly the same. This is a very common uh, fraud scheme. And one that Michelle Lee of the FBI says can take weeks or months to pull off after a criminal has infiltrated an email account. They may sit there and just kind of wait and look at the email transactions. Lee says even though agents are effective at tracking down where criminals reside, once the money leaves the U.S., it's extremely difficult to retrieve it. In Leeper's case, she was forced to use backup savings to cover her down payment, this time using a cashier's check. Had her dream of buying a home fallen apart. I would still be in my apartment. I think I would probably be in a deep depression probably at this point if, if I was not able to actually close on the house. Many financial institutions will now delay sending money overseas, giving victims more time to report the crime and to cancel the transfer. The FBI says if you have to make large transactions online, try using a domain-based email, encrypted communications, or two-step verification, which requires you to use a password and an ever-changing code to get into your account. For the Defenders, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News.